Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to connect your JavaScript project to MongoDB. So the first thing I want to do is you want to create an account. So simply just head to mongodb.com. I'll link this down in the description. All right, just click on start free. Okay, or you can click on try free. And then once you created an account, you should see something like this. All right, so for organization, you can actually put anything you want. So I'm just going to put YouTube. Okay, for the project name, I'm just going to do Discord bot. Once again, you can put anything you want in both of these sections. Okay, and then they will ask you what is your preferred language. So this is just for a survey. I don't really think it matters much. So just click on JavaScript and let's just click on continue. Okay, after a while, it will bring you to this page. Okay, you can see a serverless, dedicated and shared. Okay, you want to go to the shared uh, if you want to have a free database which is pretty much for a Discord bot. So just click on create on the shared part and it should show you something like this. All right. Okay, so for cloud provider, um, this doesn't really matter. I normally just go to AWS and just leave on the default. Um, and you just want to scroll down. In here, you can actually change your cluster name. So if you click on here, you can just change this to like Discord bot. All right, it should work, okay and then just click on create cluster. All right, so once you click on that, you should see something like this. So the next thing I wanna do is you wanna manage all of these three items over in here. So just click on database access. So let me just zoom in a little bit, database access. All right, you can use notepad if you want, if you're on Windows, and then uh, we need to take note of some of the credentials. So quickly just bring a notepad up or you can just bring a text file. All right, just click on add new database user. And then we can use password, which is the easiest method in my opinion. So password authentication, I'm just gonna put YouTube. And for the password, I'm just gonna do YouTube one, two, three. All right, so you need to take note of the, so let me just do user will be this. And then um, the password will be this. All right, so just make sure to um, remember your password and your username. All right, you can auto generate your secure password if you want, but in my opinion, uh, it's already secure enough. All right, and then uh, you should, you wanna make it read and write to any database. Okay, you can just uh, disable both of these. Okay, you should be good to go. Click on add user. All right, the next thing I wanna do is you wanna go to network access. So basically what a network access is, is basically which IP address uh, it's going to be able to access your cluster. As you can see over here, configure which IP addresses that can access your cluster. So let's just add a IP address. In my case, I'm just going to allow it access from anywhere. So whichever host I'm using is going to be able to uh, use the database. So just click on access, allow access from anywhere. And then you should see the your IP address as 0000. And then for this, um, you can just ignore it. All right, and then just click on confirm. All right, so once you've done that, just click on databases and let's just click on connect. And then you can just do um, connect with MongoDB Compass. You're just gonna ignore this because we're not gonna need it. And then we just need to copy this connection string. So let me just quickly copy that, put it over in here. So URL will be this URL over in here. All right, perfect. And then we can just close it. Okay, so let's just move back to our Discord project. So I have this, all right. But if I go to my latest update, so if I go to handler and I go to index.js, it's actually inside of the index.js file. So let me just quickly copy this. Okay, let me just put it inside index.js. Okay, I'm just gonna do uh, something like mongoose. Okay, we're gonna use Mongoose to connect to our database. And then above here, we're gonna require Mongoose equals require Mongoose. All right. Okay, if you've done this already, you can just delete away the uh, mongoose.js file. So once again, you just need to make sure you have this file, uh, this line over here called Mongoose equals require Mongoose. And at the bottom, you wanna uh, have this line, Mongoose connect, and then you want to pass in your connection string. Oh, we also need to define this. Let me see if I have required it somewhere. Okay, I don't think I have. So to get the connection string, we're just going to get it from the config adjacent. So const equals require 
dot slash config.json and then in here we're just going to do the mongoose connection string all right so it's going to check if we have the mongoose connection string if you haven't passed in anything in the mongoose connection string we're just going to return it otherwise we're going to connect it all right so the next thing you want to do is you want to click on config.json all right so once you're in here you see your token all right, you can see your prefix and you can see a mongoose connection string. If you're wondering what this is, this is a uh, event uh, a command handler, all right, in here. So it's github.com slash reconnect slash DJS base handler. All right, so in here, you want to actually pass in the URL. So let me just quickly grab the notes again. Uh, let me just grab this URL over here. All right, so for the password, you're going to replace it with your own password. So in this case, it's going to be YouTube123. So I'm just going to pass this YouTube123 in here. And then for the last slash, all right, as you can see your test, okay, um, you can do, you can change it to whatever you want. In this case, I'm just going to name it data. Okay, you can put it something like YouTube, you can put it like Discord. In this case, I'm just going to put data, all right, because it looks better. All right, so... Uh, once you run that, you can just run node dot, and it should show you that it has connected. Because here, connected to MongoDB. All right, that's how you can connect your Discord project to MongoDB. Other than that, have a nice day. See you in the next video. Bye.